Uh, so I will introduce myself. I'm Denise Gagne, the creator of Music Play and Music Play Online. I have online with me some of our Music Play team today. Carrie Lynn is our operations manager. Give us a wave. Carrie Lynn does everything hard around here. She actually is the manager. I'm not. <laughs> She's much better at managing than I am. And we have Shannon. Shannon, give us a wave. Um, Shannon, you know, we have a staff, when I counted up, I think 10 or 11 of our staff have degrees in music, in theater arts, or in graphic arts. It's just unbelievable. Um, and Shannon is going to be doing her master's degree next year in bassoon performance. So we'll have some wonderful uh, bassoon repertoire. And joining us today is Donna Rodenizer. Donna, will you give us a wave? I see you right there. And uh, Donna, was kind enough to share with me um, one of the songs that she does that I think is an awesome camp song and we don't have it on music play online. And so we will probably um, invent some kind of a version of it for music play online for next year. But right now I will, um, I should have actually given the link, but you can find it, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to find it easily online if you just search Donna Rodenizer's name on YouTube and uh, it's the moose song that she does. So campfire songs are so much fun um, to do. And at the end of the school year, when you're tired and the kids are tired, let's forget about concepts. If your assessments aren't done by now, they're not gonna get done. Um, the report cards have to be in too quick. So, I mean, if you wanna assess this week and next week, fine, but then let it go. Just have fun with the kids till the end of the school year. So Donna did um, a, a quick webinar on campfire songs and she started with call and response songs. And I thought that was such a good idea because those are the songs where the leader sings a call and the kids respond. They don't have to know all the words. So you can have 50 people around a campfire and if you've got a good enough microphone, everybody can hear you and, uh, and it can be wonderful. So I'm gonna start with one of my favorites and it's from Music Play 5. It's called Boom Chicka Boom. And I'm gonna move this camera down a little bit so you can see what I am doing. Um, I am playing my sound through my iPad. Boom chicka boom, boom chicka boom, boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom, boom chicka rock a chicka. Ask the Austin Auto, everyone. All right, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. One more time, one more time. A little bit louder, a little bit louder. Boom chicka boom, boom chicka boom, boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom, boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. All right, all right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One more time. One more time. A little bit softer. Boom chicka boom. Boom chicka boom. Boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. Boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. All right. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One more time. One more time. A little bit faster. A little bit faster. Boom chicka boom. Boom chicka boom. Boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. Boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. All right. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. One, One more time. time. One more time. A little bit slower. Boom chicka boom. Let's try a new one. Boom chicka boom. Boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. Boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. All right. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One more time. One more time. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. Boom chicka boom. On the end of that one but um, I've always done that one at the beginning of the year with grade five because our grade five boys often come in and they don't want to sing in head voice because it sounds like a girl and this um, chant gives them permission 
to use that higher voice. And I always tell them after, if you can say it up there, you can sing it up there too. So hopefully we, we keep our, our children in, um, in, uh, in singing voice as long as possible. Denise, now, I am Denise, can I jump yeah. in just for a second? Now we're not supposed to do anything that's touchy uh, for germs and that kind of stuff. But if you go like this, you can still get the sound a boom, chick, a boom, but there's no, uh, <laughs> so it, it's just that um, instead of doing with your finger because they're uh, yeah. journal phobic. We're finding really different rules everywhere mm -hmm. in North America. And a lot of our American teachers are going outside and they're allowed to sing with or without masks, some of them. Um, it would be interesting to post in the chat what your rules and restrictions are for singing if you're in school still. So I'll show you what I'm doing for sound. I've got second device up. And I'm pulling, um, I pulled the recording off there. And that way I'm synchronized with the sound that you're hearing. Sometimes when we, um, when I use the, uh, when I use the um, screen share, I'm not synchronized and that drives me crazy. So I'm going to use a little bit of both. So I am looking for bear hunt and let's go to, I know it's in kindergarten. Oh, something is going on here. My search isn't finding my songs as quickly as I want. Let's try pre-K. Ah, there we go. It's just called bear hunt. So I guess I have to search for the right thing. So going on a bear hunt again, I'm going to put this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm hoping that everybody's watching will do as well. Um, if you do, if you do, you remember and you can watch the kids demos, but do it while you're here. You've watched the computer enough today and it's a good chance for you to get um, to get a little bit of, uh, I've been sitting on the computer all day today and I'm really happy to have a, a chance to sing and move. So Bear Hunt, another favorite call response. And this is my version. So keep the beat here. Going on a bear hunt. Going on a bear hunt. Gonna catch a big one. Gonna catch a big one. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. too high here. Grass. Long Can I just see my grass. feet or my head? Long wavy grass. Can't go over it. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. We'll have to go through it. Two black wet nose. One black wet nose. Two short, 
sharp pointy teeth. Two sharp pointy teeth. It's a bear. Quick to the cave. Quick to the mud. Quick to the grass. So that is lots of fun. And if you have never done Charlotte Diamond's um, Looking for Dracula at Halloween, it's a it's a parody of going on a bear hunt and it's super, super fun. And you can find it on YouTube. So those are two favorite call and response songs. There are so many. I will just share with you. I'm gonna share screen now and open a window for my music play online. And I am using the beta site, so beta.music play online. And I am looking for I am a pizza. And it's right here in kindergarten. Again, this is a song Charlotte Diamond sang, and I always thought she wrote it, but she did it. Um, and we were able to get permission to use it. So I am a pizza, just echo what she does. And at the beginning, we sing a little opera. I am a pizza. I am a pizza. With extra cheese. With extra cheese. From tomato. From tomato. Sauce is squeezed. Sauce is squeezed. Onions and mushrooms. Onions and mushrooms. Oregano. A great song. Um, I have it in kindergarten, but the reality is I will often do that with older grades just because they love it. Now I can go back to my search and I am going to look for um, a couple of the ones that are in older grades. Sip and milkshakes. Let's see if it shows up. Milkshakes. There we go. This is in grade six. And grade six, I would more often use the notation, um, but the tune is so familiar, I'm going to use the lyrics version. Don't have actions for this one. We won't do the whole song. The prettiest girl, the prettiest girl I ever saw, I ever saw was sipping milk. Shake through a straw, was shake through a straw. The prettiest girl I ever saw was sipping milk. Shake through a I asked that girl, I asked that girl, how do you draw? How do you draw? That chocolate milk, that chocolate milk, shake through a straw, shake through a straw. I asked that girl, how do you draw? That chocolate milk, shake through a straw. She smiled at me, she smiled at me, and said that I, and said that I, might come up close, might come up close, and give a try, and give a try. She smiled at me. Cheek to cheek, and cheek to cheek, and jaw to jaw, and jaw to jaw. We sip that milk, we sip that milk, shake through a straw, shake through a straw, and cheek to cheek, and jaw to jaw. We sip that milk, shake through a straw, and all that once, and all that once, that straw. 
thought it slim. That's thought it slim. I sipped some milk. I sipped some milk. Shake from her lips. Shake from her lips. And all at once, that's thought it slim. I sipped some milk. Shake from her lips. Here comes the punch. And now I thought. And now I thought. A mother-in-law. A mother-in-law. From sipping milk. From sipping milk. Shake through a straw. Shake through a straw. And now I thought. A And of course, that's the same melody as the other day I met a bear. If you are searching for it on the song list, I discovered that search for I met a bear because searching for the other day, it seems to pull up every song that has those three words in it. Um, so search for the other day. I won't do it because everybody knows this. Instead, I am going to pull up Donna's video. <laughs> And we're going to hear Donna present the Moose Song. This is a great video I know you're going to enjoy. Hi, I'm Donna Rodenizer. Welcome to my backyard campfire. I'm here amongst the birds and a setting sun. We're gonna sing a camp song. This is from the call and response echo category of songs that you would sing around a campfire. It's a great way to tell a story because only the story leader must know all the words. Everybody else is just going to echo. This is the Moose song. I have my version created in a PDF with the lyrics and some music for you if you haven't ever sung this song so you can learn it. If you know this, you may know a variant. I looked online and there are as many variants as there are people who have posted this song. It gets passed on in that oral tradition, and as it gets passed on, it changes a little bit each time, like that silly telephone game that we used to play and pass a sentence along. So if you know a variant, by all means, use that. There's really not any right or wrong way to sing this camp song, but this is how I'm going to sing it for you. This is the Moose song, and whatever I sing, your job is to echo that, and you will help me tell the whole story. Was a great big moose. He liked to drink a lot of juice. There was a great big moose. He liked to drink a lot of juice. I say, way oh, 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 way oh. The moose's name was Fred. He liked to drink his juice in bed. The moose's name was Fred. He liked to drink his juice in bed. I say, way oh, 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 way oh. He drank his juice with care, but he spilt it in his hair. He drank his juice with care, but he spilt it in his hair. Way oh, way oh, way oh. He's a sticky moose. He's a moose full of juice. He's a sticky moose. He's a moose full of juice. I say, way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. Way -oh, way -oh, way -oh. He asked his mother for some more. But he spilt it on the floor. He asked his mother for some more, but he spilt it on the floor. I say, way oh, 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 now his juice is all gone, and that's the end of my song. Did I get you? That's how I like to end it. There are other ways I've seen on online. They go, oh, there's a moose on the loose, and they do some silly stuff. But I just end it like that. As soon as you sing it, that's the end of my song, and that's the end of my song. It's over. There you go. If you are looking for camp songs, I have the Donna Rodenizer Camp Song Collection. There are five different categories: call and response or echo songs, like the moose song. There are cannons and rounds. There are action songs, sing-along songs, and songs with disgusting lyrics that make us want to say ew 
<laughs> so you can go look those up. There are PDFs of the music if it's a singing one. There are lyric pages for you. So you have it all at hand and you can grab that. Teach these songs to your kids. The last three weeks of school is a great time to do that. It gives them something that they can take with them out of the classroom over the summer when they're sitting around a campfire and somebody says, hey, let's sing something. So you can put that in your back pocket and put that into their back pocket and have lots of fun singing outside of the music room. What a concert. Thank you so much, Donna. Um, and Donna, put in the blog a link to the to where they can get that PDF um, that, you, that you mentioned, because I think that is awesome. So we've got on Music Play lots of camping songs. Um, I went to Homewood Camp on Quadra Island, most beautiful place on earth, um, when I was a kid. And actually, I am quite sure that a lot of the songs that I have in Music Play came from my Camp Homewood days. So one of my favorites, of course, is the camping song. And this one is just silly. They say that when you're camping, the cookies are divine. Well, one rolled off the table and killed a friend of mine. Oh, I don't want no more of camping life. Gee, I want to go. Gee, I want to go. Friend, I want to go home. They say that when you're camping, the tea is mighty fine. It's good for cuts and bruises and tastes like iodine. Oh, I don't want no more of camping life. Gee, I want to go. Gee, I want to go. Red, I want to go home. They say that when you're camping, the boys are really fine. They promise Elvis Presley and give you Frankenstein. Oh, I don't want no more. They promise you Shania and give you Dracula. Oh, I don't want no more of camping life. Gee, I want to go. Gee, I want to go. Grandma, I want to go home. They say that when you're camping, they teach the kids real good. You go in like an angel and come out like a hood. Oh, I don't want no more of camping life. Gee, ma, I want to go. Gee, pa, I want to go. Friend, I want to go home. And of course, they don't really want to go home. They just they just say that because it's uh, something to say. So I've got a list that we're going to post in the chat. A P or we'll send the PDF to you of some of my favorites at Music Play Online that we can use. So in my list, I've got the very familiar sing-along songs. I should not be sharing for this part. Um, the very familiar singing songs. Kumbaya, we have it in Music Play for kindergarten. So there's a recording of it there. He's got the whole world in his hands. And again, everybody knows this and it's um, a very familiar sing-along song. Uh, take me out to the ball game. I was just editing that today. And again, great song. If you want to extend the lesson, you get kids to write parodies of the words because there's a bazillion of them done. I don't want to do homework would be a good starter for parodies. On top of spaghetti, another favorite. I'm sure again, I learned that one at summer camp. Um, for your littlest ones, for your pre-Ks, your kindergartens, wheels on the bus. Everybody knows it. They all know the actions, so you can do that with them. Um, the more we get together, together, together is another good one just to build that feeling of uh, camaraderie around the campfire is a good one. Um, bingo. Everybody knows bingo. So if you pick the most familiar for your children, you'll leave them something to grab onto that they can sing with their parents when they go home. I always like the sing-along songs where we get to create verses. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, and then it's really fun to get your littles to try and make up verses. They don't get it. Um, 
I, I just babysat a three and a five year old last week for three days. And we're trying to teach them how to tell knock, knock jokes. Knock, knock, who's there? Favorite answer, fart, fart who? But then they can't make a sentence starting with fart. So they really don't get the, the idea of the knock, knock joke. We'll keep trying and we'll try and get them off the potty talk. Um, it's, it's always fun. So down by the bay is a really good one. Another really good one is there's a spider on the floor, on the floor. There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. Who could ask for any more? Then a spider on the floor. There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. And I've got lots of verses in music play, but the most fun is just to see how I can make up a verse on the spot with new body parts. Okay, neck. I don't think is in the music play version. There's a spider on my neck, on my neck. There's a spider on my neck, on my neck. Oh, I'm gonna be a wreck. I've got a spider on my neck. There's a spider on my neck, on my neck, finger. There's a spider on my finger. I hope he doesn't linger. There's a spider on my finger, on my finger. And it challenges me every time I do this with a group to see if I actually can make up a rhyme about every part of themselves that they think of for me. Um, then I get to the silly action song category. And again, lots of these I learned at camp or they have come from the camp repertoire. So let's do the Pizza Hut song. This one is super fun. A pizza hut, a pizza hut, like a chicken fried chicken in a pizza hut. A pizza hut, a pizza hut, like a chicken fried chicken in a pizza hut. McDonald's, McDonald's, a Kentucky fried chicken. If I go to um, Austrian wet yodeling, I want to share the screen for this one and look it up on our song list. Let's see if that's enough. There we go. Austrian wet yodeling. Um, we made a new version of it this year, and here's the kids' demo. I'm going to have to, yeah, I better do it with the lyrics um, so I don't forget the words. But um, this is fun. And we changed the last part of this because there was some lyrics about the, uh, the boy going, which is of course a little sexist. And in this day and age, we shouldn't be wolf whistling at girls. And then the girl slaps his face. So we're not, we're, we excluded those verses and we put some new ones in. Okay, challenge my piece. Can I remember all the time? What's an Yeah, but you don't know. 
my Alzheimer's brain in a big way. Um, but that one is really fun. And it's it shows how we can adapt songs for the 21st century, taking out the outdated parts, but still keeping them fun. Um, I am actually going to share another song that we have changed. Don't want to do that one again. I am going to go to This Is My Home. Um, there's been a large controversy in Canada about the song Land of the Silver Birch. And so I wanted to give us um, a replacement for Land of the Silver Birch that captured some of the feeling of it because Canadian teachers likely won't do Land of the Silver Birch, at least for a long time. Um, and the reasoning for it was uh, that uh, a, actually a school teacher in Toronto um, took her principals to court and sued them for defamation because they said she was racist for using it. Uh, the experts really, really disagreed. But to avoid all controversy and all lawsuits, better just to let it go. So here is This Is My Home, and I'm showing you the lyrics without the notation because it's so pretty, and you'll catch on right away.
not Land of the Silver Birch, but I think it's really quite lovely. Um, it's one of our new recordings and you'll start to see those throughout the site um, where they have not the frames that we've always had, but um, new graphics. And um, I'm very grateful to the choir in Indianapolis that did that recording for us. It was fabulous. So we do have um, lots more campfire songs, but I'm gonna take you to the unit. So over here on the left menu is units, and then I can uh, sort by festivals and holidays or these other things, but I can see campfire unit right here. So I'm just gonna pop into the campfire unit and here's many, many more ideas for you. I will rearrange at the end of this year, um, but look at all the silly songs we've got. We've got tons and tons of them. There is no end to the choices. Food songs and always the food at camp was always something to be talked about. I will never forget the first time I ate homemade tomato soup at a summer camp and I thought it tasted just terrible. I think my taste buds would be a little different now as an adult than they were as a 10 year old. Um, but all lots of food songs, ham and eggs, great song to do with the kids in camp. In fact, let's look at this. If I click here, it's gonna take me to ham and eggs in the song list. And again, I look at this, we've got new, um, we've got new recording of this. So I will show you the actions, copy what I do. keep up with that you're going to get your 100 squats of the day what you do with your students is you divide them into two groups one side is the hams one side is the eggs so you teach them first the actions just with the hams and then without doing it all at once like we just did you get the hams group to sing their part and the eggs group to sing their part and then you get them to stand up when it's their part and sit back down when it's not so that's always been a favorite i always go um faster and faster with those kinds of songs. And so we have tucked away in the interactives, a tempo tool. And if you haven't used this tempo tool, it's amazing. I'll go full screen so you can see it. Um, Ham and eggs is in grade two. So if I was doing, I wanna go full screen. It's not going for me. If I want to do grade two rhythms, I'd probably go about here. So, there's my instructions. I can go Largo, Andante, Moderato, Allegro, Presto. Let's go Moderato just for the sake of it. If I want to review those tempo terms with the kids, I pull up teaching slides and it'll review those particular terms. And then we can clap along with the rhythm. <laughs> With the kids, you should start at Largo and work your way up to Presto, but let's just try Presto because it's fun. Are you ready? It's gonna go really quick. Here we go. Who does not like a good Presto? That is super fun. Now, if I go back to my campfire unit, which is here, um, you can see there's just a wealth of choices. Sailing songs. Lots of these are sea shanties, which are super popular right now. Um, the traditional songs, the kumbaya, if you're happy and you know it. All these ones that are pretty familiar to adults and kids alike. We have a few spirituals in here. 
Um, we have some group songs. Those are actually uh, our call and response. We will do some editing of this unit for next year. And then camping and vacation songs. Swimming, swimming in my swimming pool. This is another one that is kind of, in my view, an absolute must do. You can see I've got a kid's demo here. So if you can't remember how to do it, by all means, use the kid's demo. But copy me for the action. So we're start with this one. my campfire unit. Um, so at the bottom are additional resources and this additional resource of campfire games. It's funny, Donna, that you mentioned the telephone game because that's number one on the list here. So you sit the students in a circle and you turn so they are sitting. Let's move this over a little bit so you can actually see it. One behind the other and you choose where the chain ends and you give the last one in the chain a flash card to tap. So they tap on the shoulders. That would be too easy. And they pass it forward until it gets to the front person. The front person claps it out loud. And we see if they actually got what was on the classroom. Or you could do it in, in groups. I've seen it done um, with, um, actually it was a Randy and Jeff workshop long, long time ago. They did this game. And they had four or five lines and the person at the back of the line got the flash card, tapped on the shoulders. And at the front of the line, they then went and wrote it on the board. And we, we got to see how close it was to, the, um, to what it actually started. But of course, with a campfire, you wanna be around the campfire game. So here's another campfire game, 20 questions. And here's a composer example. Is it a composer? Yes or no? Is the composer a boy or a man or a woman? Yes. Did he live in 
did he write, you know, so those are uh, some of the examples. You could do instruments as well. Is it an instrument? Yes. Is it part of the woodwind family? No. Is it part of the brass family? No. Is it part of the string family? Yes. Do you play it on your shoulder? No. Is it sitting on the ground when you play it? Yes. Do you use a bow to play it? No. Is it a harp? And of course you could ask, is it a cello? Is it a violin? Is it a double bass? Um, the kids are gonna be reviewing, but this is a game and that's how they're going to think of it. Okay, I can tap the stick just right. That one I didn't quite get. So I'm gonna to have to, um, this one was another good one. And we've got a video that links to it. Show me how you get down. I'm not gonna show you how I do this cause I'm not very good at this. Um, and the one tap, two tap, I'm gonna show you the video because I found it incredibly helpful. So the safe share video is right there. Have all the participants lie in a circle on their stomachs with their hands on the floor in the middle. The player's arm should be intertwined with the player beside them, one on top and one underneath. Someone starts the game by tapping their hand once and the tap goes clockwise around the circle. Each player has the option of tapping their hand once or double tapping when it's their turn to tap. A double tap switches the direction the tap is traveling in. <laughs> Only one person should be tapping at a time. Start the game slowly until the participants find their rhythm and then challenge them to go faster. So it looks simple or it doesn't look simple to me. It looks hard, um, <clears throat> but it's lots and lots of fun. Um, we also included some campfire flashcards in here as well. Another place you can go for what I think is some really, really good campfire type songs or songs for the end of the year when the kids are tired. You go into the learning modules, go into general, and then movement song favorites. And there is 15 in here right now and probably more will be added. But these are super, super fun. Uh, Shake It, we've done, um, Get You Moving. I just do exactly what the words say. The Action Leader song is fun. I wanted to do Skateboard Rider. And I think it's probably, of course, right at the very bottom. Oh, maybe I didn't even put Skateboard Rider in here. There's such a wealth of movement stuff in here. Okay, Skateboard Rider is going to get added to this because it's not there right now. And I was going to show that to you today. Do I have time to pull it up? Um, maybe. Let me just do a quick find for it. skateboard rider and I am looking for my mp4. And it just takes a second to pull up because it's hidden away in Dropbox and it doesn't. I had grandkids over on the weekend and we had a campfire and they were um, in looking under the deck storage to see all the good toys that we have hidden away that they haven't seen for a long time because they haven't been able to come and visit. So, um, oh, I've got a different video than that. Um, they, they found a skateboard. So they found Brian's skateboard that he had when he was about 10 or 11 and he's 31 now. So uh, it was very, very funny. So stand up, get off screen, get on your skateboards. I think this is the right thing. Jump, my dear, devil, please. 
from April and Susan and uh, have it on the Music Play Online website now. I just have to get it into that movement module. I didn't realize it wasn't even there. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm just going to make mention, um, if you have enjoyed the singing, the moving, everything, um, Artie Alameda and I are doing um, a, a conference July 14th to 16th. We have 16 uh, 13, 13, lucky 13, amazing sessions. We have five presenters. So there's Artie and myself. There's Patrick Ware, who's doing um, creative movement. We have Manju Durai Raj, who is going to do some songs from India. And we have many of those songs on the website now and more of them coming. She's done a holy unit for us and she's going to do a unit on um, Diwali for us as well. And Mari Shea is going to talk about success in the music elementary classroom. Mari um, teaches in Oregon in a Title I school, and she's got some really down-to-earth good suggestions for, for teachers. So Artie and Denise, July 14th to 16th. The next webinar in our uh, webinar series will be June 16th on subtypes. So everybody's finished. Hopefully you don't have to get a sub in again this year, but this will give you some ideas for getting your sub materials ready for next fall. So that if you're out the first week of school, you've got a package of materials ready to go for your sub, uh, for your substitute teachers. Um, if we have any questions from the chat, I'm very happy to answer. Carrie Lynn, if you wanna just go ahead and read me any questions that you've seen. Yeah, um, I've got one, um, any, so this is, I guess, for anyone, but anybody have any tips for overcoming lag during for um, online during call and response songs? That'd be one. <laughs> you just have to mute the kids. You can't, you can't listen to them. And if you do a lot of the movement stuff, I can watch you and I can see that your movement is behind, but I can see who's moving and who's not. And that to me is really important that I see that they're participating. Um, and that to me is the most important thing. And the other little trick that I have found that really helps is I pull up a second device and then my movement is synced better, I think, than, than it is. You'll have to tell me after because I, I don't know. But I find that second device sometimes really, really helpful with, um, with the leg for myself. Uh, but yeah, the kids, you can't do it unmuted. You just have to have them mute and watch their, watch their mows moving and watch their actions. Cool. Sounds good. Um, will you write a dip, dip and swing part for this is my home? Um, no, because that's actually part of my paddle. 
and my paddle is not deemed to be offensive. So we are still keeping canoe song or my paddle in music play online. And that is staying and we are putting together the partner song. It was called two Canadian folk songs and it was land of the silver birch and my paddle together. And they work beautifully as partner songs. So now it's going to be, this is my home and my paddle um, together as a partner song that I couldn't get the the land of the silver birch has the ending boom diddy yada boom diddy yada and I've always taught t ticka t t t ticka t t with that and I did not figure out a way to incorporate it into the song but you know it would be a lovely and simple ostinato so that's how I how you can incorporate the rhythm that's missing from the teaching process of that song um, and and there are other songs we've got Chester which has the same rhythm and is lots of fun for kids. So we've got other fun songs to teach that concept. Um, but I do think that This Is My Home is, is a good replacement. Okay, any more questions? Yes, please. Can, uh, can you hear me, Denise? I can. Yeah, uh, this is Hella from Sydney, uh, Australia. Uh, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we are in the morning and your conference in July will be at night for me up to the six yeah. o'clock in the morning. Anyway, I'm teaching uh, from kindy to year 12 at St. Mark College, and I'm using for the rhythmic pattern the Ta and Tati and Ta Fatifi, the French names. Mm -hmm. uh, and from first lesson, kindergarten student can memorize because each quarter note has a name. Yes, yes. It is yes. such a wonderful way to do the teaching of rhythms. So um, I'm using uh, at the beginning uh, for all the classes, the Tafa Tifi and Tati, I found Ta and Tika Tika and the English method one and two, and doesn't make sense because when we have a half count, logically, the second part will be T, Ta and T, or Ta, Fi, the syncopation. So, Maybe you can add this to your programs because I'm, I'm not going to call the rhythm names for anybody. I, you know, I always, I'm a big believer in you use whatever works to your students for your students. And I've actually just gone through a very, very big edit of the grade five teacher guides and everywhere where it says ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, as an example, we put in brackets or use the rhythm names that you use in your classroom. Um, right now in, in the United States, there's a lot of people that use Gordon syllables. There's Takadimi. There are so many different methods out there right now that I'm not gonna presume to say what I do is best, um, but what I do worked for, has worked for me in the classroom for 40 years, I know it works. And if what you're doing is working for you in the classroom, you just keep doing what you're doing. Um, but I'm trying to avoid specifying a syllable in music play so that it's open and everybody can do whatever syllable they want. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Anyone else got a question? I'd be delighted if I could hear more. Okay, well, look at this, it's 5.01, we are on the dot. Thank you very, very much for joining us, everybody. I hope you, you know, if you're still in class, I hope the last couple of weeks are good. You hang in there, stay, stay strong. And like I say, give everybody this year for assessment, give everybody a B. If they're really, really super strong, give them an A. If they're real turkeys in your classroom, give them a C. Forget the marking, toss it out. This year has been a terrible year. Just make it easy for yourself and, um, yeah, worry less about the assessment and more about having fun. I think that's what we need to do to get us through this year. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. I hope to see you again on June the 16th for subtubs and in July. And for our Australia teacher, thank you so much for joining us. That's why we're recording the session so you don't have to stay up all night.